All right, today we're going to be talking about something fun that uh, is coming with UE5, and that is the brand new IK retargeting. Um, if you've played around with <laughs> retargeting before, um, you kind of know it was like it wasn't the best. And by that, like obviously it worked. It was just very finicky. There were things that could go wrong, and you wouldn't necessarily see what was causing the issue. Um, and you didn't really have really any control over how it retargeted. And, but this new IK system uh, kind of is hoping to change that, and it gives you a lot more control that we just didn't have before. Um, so I wanted to just show you. Uh, this is actually the third-person template, the brand-new template. Uh, in it, they include the retargeting that they did from the old Manny, the new Manny, and the new um, Quinn asset as well. Um, for this one, they're just retargeting the single asset, which is the jog forward. Uh, we can actually move the target mesh so that we can see both meshes at the same time. Uh, this is what is referred to as a retargeter in the engine. Uh, so that we can add this by going animation, uh, IK retargeter. And you're going to see something similar to this. And I'm going to go into that in a minute. Um, as well, I just wanted to show you the one that was already pre-set up. Um, this is, if you've retargeted before, this is something similar that you've seen where it matches certain things. But instead of matching bones, we're now matching chains. So think of like an IK chain, like the top of the arm to the bottom of the arm, uh, top leg to the foot, you know, spine one to spine four or spine five, you know, however long your spine goes is how to think of that chains. Uh, if you name it right, you can auto-chain. It's going to work fine. You can see that the auto-chains actually break here because the naming isn't perfect because of the twist bones. We now can actually edit this in real time. Um, so say this is what we're retargeting to, right? This is our source, and it's right here. Target IK rig asset. So we'll cover that in a second, what a rig asset is now. Um, so say the, the rig asset actually looks like this, you know, the arm slouched, and say we need to do corrective poses on the rig itself to match better, uh, we could actually do that, set its reference pose in here, um, or save it like before where we created reference pose, and we can actually edit it in here, uh, as we wish. Um, and then also de decide which p type of retargeting we want, whether we want to just retarget the root, FK, or IK. Um, and let's just click this, and you'll see... There we go. So you can see this is it retargeting without any FK, and then that's it with the bones. You can see it's broken, because I changed that up. Uh, but say it was broken, we can fix it now, real time. And so what I wanted to show was how do we set up one of these assets? Uh, I have the advanced locomotion in here. Uh, I just imported it. That's all I've done. And then from there, I've right-clicked animation and created a IK rig. So both of your skeletons that you're trying to retarget and retarget to will need an IK rig set up. Here is the IK rig for the uh, advanced locomotion. I didn't set up every single chain. I just set up the basics, uh, which works, surprisingly. Uh, we can actually just go like this. We can say, uh, set up a new retargeter. Right? This is pick an IK rig to copy animations from. We want to pick it from IK Manny. Um, so this is the Manny. And then we want to use that new IK rig, right? Let's do an offset on the, on the, on there. We can also scale if we need to, uh, to match. And you can see we only have some simple, simple mapping and it knows. So now we can just go, okay, play Manny, right? Uh, it's not going to be a perfect match because I didn't match every bone, but you can kind of get the idea. Right, so I don't have the spline mapped correctly. Um, so what we could do is we would come back in here. We would go, okay, is it from pelvis to spline three? And 
Like that might have helped. Um type of thing. Uh but either way, this is just for a basic setup. Uh you can see it works right away. Um we can come in here and edit it if we wanted to later. But for now, um you can see our root bone didn't get set correctly. So we need to set IK root. All I did, right click it, set retarget root. We save that. Now let's try it. Okay, you can see that that now, that should correct some things. Let's see this. Okay. Do this. Um, target spline. Arm left leg. Spine. There we go. Now I fixed it. Um, it needed the pelvis as a. Um, but you can see that kind of issue, right? So like, if we were doing that with the old system, we would have to. Uh, re-export the animations. Right. Um, or at least from my understanding of the old system, I always hated it because it wasn't very easy to pick up and understand. But you can see. Just with these simple mappings that I've done, we've got a pretty good setup. And from here, we can actually edit it still, if we need to. And we can create different poses for different animations. And then just export the animation um, from here. So now, instead of just getting an exported animation, we actually are getting... Um, you know, we're keeping that data from before, if that makes sense. And then we can still edit this in um, Sequencer. And if we have a control rig, put that on top of it, smooth stuff out. So it's kind of all about, like, automatically generating this, these corrective fixes and all of this now, especially... Uh, and it's all about kind of... It seems like it's it, it's all about keeping the data. Right? It, we're no longer losing information. And you can basically retarget to anything. Uh, I've seen someone retarget Manny to a dragon. Like, um, overall, uh, it works really well. And you can have lots of editable... You can edit the IK rig here with IK goals to make it even better. So, like, our left arm, we can set an IK goal on the hand. Uh, like we normally would have IK. Uh, and this doesn't affect the actual skeleton. So that data is now safe. Rather than us having to change skeletal settings, which might break the skeleton for other cases, and have it where we gotta back this up and do the, like... In my... From what I've experienced with... With, um... With animations, this has just made it overall much cleaner to do. Hopefully that makes sense, and uh, I know I've been talking a little bit in circles, but uh, I just wanted to s somewhat show that example. Um, so again, you add an IK rig. This you fill out. So mine's filled out very basically. If you want something a little more detailed like they did, like here's their retargeter for the old Manny to new Manny, and they basically do every single bone, right? And you fill that out in the IK retargeter. Uh, and it can go both ways as well. We would just make another IK retargeter. And that's the nice thing about it staying as an object. Is we can come back to this at any time. Say we need to edit it slightly. Um, with new animations or whatever. Um, we can still keep... Say we want Mixmo animations and we want you know, Unreal animations and, like, this, of so custom animations. We can make a retargeter for each one of those. Um, and have it where it just is a file in the engine that you can send to someone, uh, and they can retarget, uh, if they need to, right? Um, and you can also save out different poses, like they did. And as you can see, they're retargeting. Uh, they do full body IK. Uh, settings on every single, or some of the, like, the pelvis and stuff like that. Um, you can basically set up different solvers, uh, for all of that. That's what this is here, the IK goal. All they did is they go to the hand, 
uh, and you make an IK goal. Okay? Um, so I know I've been all over the place. Um, but I'm trying to explain it in detail, but honestly, it's just simple. It is, it, or at least in my opinion, this is a very straightforward approach. The way that Epic took it with this is that they have every bone as part of the chains. If it's a single bone by itself, like the clavicle, um, it is its own uh, start and end. If it is a chain, like your arm to your um, hand, then the start bone is going to be the upper arm. The end bone will be the lower arm. Um, but honestly, I can't wait for other people to use this. Uh, it's a great tool. Um, it works surprisingly well. And I just love the ability that we can now actually come in here and change these settings. Um, and we can even set limits on here. We can do all sorts of fun stuff by adding these solvers to it. And, you know, and, and this is without even using, like, bringing control rig into the scenario. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing everyone's awesome uh, retargeted animations. I'm definitely looking forward to using this. I've put off animations in my games for way too long uh, because it's just not my strong suit, but this makes it where I feel comfortable and it gives me a more... Uh, it gives me a greater understanding of how it works because it actually shows you rather than it being, you know, set this to skeleton rotation. Um, it's literally showing you like, hey, this bone to this bone, this is the goal. If you want to fix it, you can offset it with these settings. Uh, and that's it. Uh, I can't wait to see other people's projects and what you guys do with this. Um, I think I'm going to be making some more videos on the new starter content. Uh, we'll see. I, I think the 5.0 release might just be right around the corner, so we'll see what kind of ends up being needed once uh, all that stuff comes around. Uh, the new starter templates all have uh, built-in IK uh, for the floor. So I can't wait to see people not, uh, you know completely fly flying all the time that's gonna be great and yeah so i think my next video might cover some control rig and specifically the uh retargeting going on there by default now uh and then i have some more videos on the modeling tools uh if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and thank you for watching